So, Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This will be a reading for Virgo. If you got Virgo placement, tap in. So Virgo, I feel like something about the color yellow, something about the condiment mustard, something about a person associating those two things, colors, and the condiment to being um, more so, this could be more so of a person who's terrified. Virgo, I feel like someone's terrified or I feel like this has everything to do with um, witches energy, witch, a witch, witches, whatever. So the sea of Mintaka, so something about a body of water, something about um, the letter C, something about mints or meaning what you're saying or saying what you mean or standing firm on just that. So Virgo, I feel like um, you see the potential, the full potential of a person, not just some, but the full potential when it comes to, I feel like the bigger picture, the grand scheme of things more so, right? So someone could be scheming, heavy emphasis on scheming, niggas stay scheming, bitches stay scheming. So I feel like this is the energy of where someone's trying to scheme and things are catching up to their ass. Most importantly, I feel like someone is more so fearful or frightened when it comes to that energy or the desire to know more so, or I feel like they have desire to know, or if not, here's some information. So Virgo, um, a body of water. So this could speak of a christening. This could speak of the body of Christ. Something about a cross as well. So someone's blessed. Someone's uh, very, very holy as well. Or I feel like this has something to do with the connection to Christ. So heavy emphasis on a lamb. Lamb chop or lamb. Something about the song lamb chop. That's my shit. Let's see. So sacrifice. Firestorm. So the high priestess energy is here. So I feel like someone's constantly sacrificing some shit. This has something to do with planets, moons. I also get an energy of where someone has no emotion. There's no moon to a person. There's no emotion to them. Um, I feel like someone's more of like an energy of already gone. They're not even here, to be honest. I feel like what you're getting from a person is... Um, the aftermath you're getting the aftermath of uh, a situation or some type of storm could be surrounding Sagittarius's energy I feel like if someone said don't play with them they meant it so karma drama endings loss mental breakdown so I feel like someone's battling mentally or there's a delay when it comes to a person and their mental state so I feel like they could be acting out or reacting very harshly or very passionately even Okay, so you have shocking news. So someone's more so, more so shocked. Someone's sure of some shit as well. So Virgo, I feel like you're shocked when it comes to Sagittarius's energy or they're shocked when it comes to Sagittarius's energy. I feel like someone's like, well, come on. Like someone's ushering a person. Like, you know, they have that right or authority. It's like, what the fuck is you doing anyway? It's like someone's trying to usher another person to their destination and they have no right no authority to do those things so you have love a child so i feel like something about a person um being a parent a parental figure more so the love that a child and their parent uh, could have between the two or whatever the case may be i feel like it's a very very strong type of energy or i feel like this is you virgo you and your child or I feel like you're birthing a nation or I feel like um, <laughs> there will be some type of wicked identification or Virgo shocking news that I feel like you could get from a person let's see okay so you have the Empress with the judgment card so wicked wicked Sagittarius's energy 
I feel like could be disrupted or startled more so. It's a dude, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like they're watching. Someone's discovering you, or I feel like something about the close of a cycle, Virgo. I feel like you could be closing out a cycle, or I feel like this person could be, or I feel like this has something to do with a teaching, someone being taught. Someone's being taught from you, Virgo. They're learning a lesson. You have the Four of Wands. So this has something to do with the rectification of a relationship, or I feel like someone's ass or rectum, or I feel like this could be um, a relationship that's being watched, or home that's being watched, or let's see. The sun card could be Leo's energy. I feel like watch a person. A person needs to be watched, or I feel like ask to go through their phone. Ask someone like, can I see your phone? <laughs> type of energy. Queen of Wands, you got the Three of Cups. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like this has everything to do with whores. Whores being whores and then being snobbish and foolish while being a whore. It's just never going to work like that. You're never going to be a whore and then be snobbish. Ten of Pentacles with the Strength card. How does that even work? Um, so loyalty or, devo or devotion or purity when it comes to the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the masculine energy is dominating, is winning currently. Um, there could be disruption surrounding nastiness, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Scorpionic energy, there could be satisfaction, in, satisfaction as well. So someone's energy is very satisfying. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius' energy. I feel like Virgo, someone travels, uh, they're traveling with you, or I feel like someone travels, um, or someone's traveling towards you is what I'm seeing here. Heavy emphasis on traveling. Okay, so you have the two of wands. So indecisive energy or being closed off. So I feel like this has something to do with uh, you shutting a person out or you closing a person out, or I feel like some type of disruption or fake energy. I feel like you don't want to be disrupted. You don't want to be um, in the energy of trying to figure shit out. Tower Two of Swords. I feel like there is a um, duality to some type of disruption as well. So one or two ways. I feel like something can go one or two ways simply. Or I feel like you can just be um, satisfied in your means for with the Ace of Swords. Being very clear minded more so or focused. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, the Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, so I feel like someone's taking action or projecting more so. Someone's taking action or something about the uh, Sagittarius, they're taking full action when it comes to a person. Wicked identification when it comes to a group of some sort or someone's influence. I feel like a person could be being held up through a dude, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius' energy. I feel like there could be praise or motive or work when it comes to the Queen of Swords, a Libra. I feel like this person's mouth is everything. Let's see. Okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles, so a clean slate. Gemini, Leo, Aquarius' energy, or I feel like Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm getting an energy of where someone could um, give you intel, or I feel like someone could give you information about something new a new approach a new idea for many of you this could be a blessing of some sort i feel like someone is being blessed to a certain degree let's see okay so you have the eight of swords gemini leave aquarius's energy the channeling behind whatever so i feel like someone's satisfied and they're they could be channeling that they're satisfied that they're happy or whatever the case may be i feel like this is the way someone's mental capacity or focus this is just how they're set up mentally to be satisfied, to be content, to be smug, whatever the case may be. Um, it's like someone being smug and then asking for a handout or blessing. It just doesn't work like that. So I feel like something about a person uh, being forced to move into a direction of the Eight of Swords energy. Someone's very, very terrified, Virgo. Someone's afraid. Someone's very frantic when it comes to a new opportunity or blessing. That's very normal. I feel like there could be a clean slate when it comes to a person as well. I just feel like something got so fucking nasty, it needs to be cleaned up type of energy. Let's see. Okay, so you have the Queen of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. So this could speak of a payout. Eight of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or the side eye of that. A person being paid a large sum of money for whatever reason. I feel like this could have everything to do with the person's mental 
and stability. It's kind of like, how does that even fucking happen? Type of energy. Like, what's really going the fuck on? Oh, dumbass bitch. You got the Hermit's card with the Lover's card. What is this? You worried about everything else. But what the fuck is going on with that? Four Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is energy. I feel like this is um, more so a person hiding some information. They're hiding shit. They're not telling what's... I feel like someone's paying the piper. But Virgo, a person's not paying no fucking bills. Now make that make sense. You paying the piper, but you're not paying any bills. You don't even want to pay for a fucking... I don't know, Virgo. Motherfucker don't even want to pay a fucking light bill. The fuck? But you'd rather pay a piper? That don't make sense. That's delusional. That's sick. So karma when it comes to the significant contact or, or a significant other. For many of you guys, I feel like someone, they're mentally ill. They are. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in specific. They are mentally ill. They are. It's no way around it. It's no pussyfooting around it. Someone's mentally ill. Simply. Lover's card. Moon. So, <laughs> a fool, there's hate for an unintelligent person. They're unintelligent. Unlimited possibilities. Could be Pisces. Arrogance. You see the arrogance when it comes to this person? It's like, you're so fucking stupid, bro. Or bitch. You're so arrogant. This is more of a person feeling trapped. I feel like someone has trapped themselves by talking, by their mouth, by saying just anything. Just doing whatever. Because they feel like they have the power or... You know they're able to so this is proper preparation when it comes to what's being implemented there will be an enlightenment when it comes to someone's mental capacity cancer places or scorpio someone's just not there all the way i feel like it takes them a long time to think about they think about shit first and then it's like they still fuck up it's just a mess you have the Ten of Pentacles with the uh, Ten of Wands. So I feel like something about security. The security of something is just very hard to maneuver. Someone's trying to secure some shit by any means. But I feel like they're making shit worse. That's all. That's all a dumb bitch could be doing. Let's see. You have the Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles in exchange. Or I feel like unexpected energy currently being manifested. So bulletin points. Bullets. I'm also getting universal knowledge shared when it comes to the Capricorn. They're fucked up on both tiers. So what are you talking to me about? Is it a Capricorn? They're fucked up on that tier, that tier, and that tier. I feel like something about um, a person being very ambitious with the wrong shit. I feel like someone's very, very ambitious with the wrong things. So the fall of a person the justice card with the two of cups so death scorpionic energy deceiving or scorpio deceiving i feel like you see eye to eye with them or the justification surrounding the deception thus far i feel like someone's just so tense or go they're tense they're mad they're upset they're challenged they're using their intuition recklessly they're just stupid that's what i'm seeing here i feel like someone should just this is like an energy where you could be telling someone, bitch, just go die. Go fucking die, some fucking fear. Stupid bitch. It's a nigga. Fuck on, bro. Pisces. Fuck on, bro. Oh, dumbass bitch. Dumbass nigga. So this is more of a person, bro. I feel like they have Tourette's. All types of shit going on with them mentally. Um, I feel someone's challenged, mentally challenged, to be honest. And this is their karma to experience. I feel like someone's so, they so perfect, you will see them start to spiral because of a certain energy or their knowing when it comes to a certain energy or Capricorn. So this is causing more restriction for this person mentally. 
physically, their vocab, where they travel and how they travel, how they get around type of energy. Let's see. Six of Pentacles, unexpectedly. I feel like someone could be making an investment into a delay, into a delayed person. So points were proven when it comes to someone in their magic, their manipulation. You proved the point. So now they're challenged emotionally. Ooh, they want to cry. Ooh, oh, fuck on. Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Someone, they take wrongful actions and then they regret it later on down the line. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles, the Capricorn energy, they're waiting. They're just waiting for the Capricorn's energy. They're exchanging with spell work as well, unexpectedly, or I feel like something about truth and justice. I feel like that's the exchange surrounding you and a person, or this could be a Sagittarius, or I feel like something about the number eight. So time, unexpected. I feel like someone has been called on their time unexpectedly. Yeah, so for many of you guys, I feel like this could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius's energy, or I feel like someone's seeing eye to eye with some sort of praise or motive. I feel like there could be disruption surrounding uh, the comfortability of a person, or I feel like um, the genuine close to a cycle. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I feel like uh, you can just tell by the shit that's going on around a person. It's not even normal. That's not even some normal shit that goes on. That's kind of odd, kind of weird. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, Hermit, uh, what's this? High Priestess. Introspection. So something deep within a motherfucker. With the Ten of Pentacles, a Virgo. Something deep inside of a person. I feel like this is a person inside of another person. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're sick. There's a sickness to a bitch. And they're shutting down or nigga. They're so mad. So three of pentacles, that's a controlled situation. That's to stop a motherfucker. Purposely, or I feel like that's to stop someone, Virgo, or this is to stop someone from moving forward with a conspiracy or conspiring against you further. So whatever type of collaboration or whatever type of stop was put to person conspiring against you i feel like it was permanently put there for someone to recognize or wake up mentally so the material of it aries leo or sagittarius there's someone who's a dictator when it comes to the material uh world or material things or you have the page of wands and you have the seven of wands so a knowing of some type of screening or i feel like someone projects they're all mouth you have the uh, Ten of Cups. You have the Judgment card. They're just all mouth. That's what I'm seeing here. Also get someone's very, very tense. we go. Very tense. Mm. Too tense, bitch. Open up, nigger. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Um... There's a, there's a wicked motherfucker. There's a wicked ass bitch or nigger. They're gonna have to fall for some shit. They falling for you. Somebody falling for you, Virgo. Somebody gonna have to take a fucking fall. They gonna have to take the fall. They gonna have to take that fucking loss. Whatever the case may be. Because of their wicked treat us far. You just too nasty. You slow and nasty. They don't make no fucking sense. Got to go. Get it the fuck together. Dust. Virgo, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And I do hope this serves you well. Take care.